What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? It's your girl, Diva, the Divine Light, coming to you live and direct from the NYC. I just wanted to address a couple of things for you guys. Um, there's a lot of drama going on in this YouTube streets and shit, you know, people are divided, people are fighting, and this is all because of R. Kelly and his drama and his saga and his bullshit. And, you know, um, I just wanted to dedicate this video to all the supporters that are out there fighting for R. Kelly. Um, and your behavior is shameful, disgusting, embarrassing. You should all be ashamed of yourselves. And um, people exposing other people and their private lives and all that other stuff, that's just sneaky, nasty, rude. Um, and um, people trying to control other people's channels and people also trying to control who they rock with, who they don't rock with, who they're for, who they're not for, who should be on whose team, who can converse with this one, who can't converse with that one, who could be on this one's live, who can't be on that one's live. Like, this is just ridiculous and it has to stop. And um, I'm very disappointed in everybody. It's a shame. It's a damn shame on what's going on. It's terrible. Everything is terrible. I think that you guys need to get a better head on your shoulders and do things the right way. Some of you bloggers, some of you vloggers, shall I say, are doing what you're supposed to be doing as far as fighting for injustice for your R. Kelly. Um, but... Um, and then some of you are fighting amongst each other, and it looks really, really dangerous and really, really sad. And um, I'm going to dedicate this video to you guys, like I said. And um, as far as uh, this video, this video is from Cali Buzz. You can find him on YouTube at K L I Buzz on YouTube and then you can find him on Instagram at um who is caliber on Instagram. Um I like this video and what he had to say. I really appreciate this brother for coming out and saying what he did and standing up as a man. Um there needs to be more men out here like this besides, you know, some of the bloggers that, you know, are on my team um that are out there fighting for women and um justice for the women and young girls who were abused by this man and um, I appreciate you brother Caliber thank you so much for supporting the girls and saying what you said you said a mouthful and um, you definitely said the right words I could not have put them any better um, so just enjoy this clip you guys um, and to all you um, R. Kelly supporters I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from. You guys need peace. This man, you see how he does? This is what he does. This man does this to his world that's around him. Makes everything crumble. Everything crumble around him. Everything crumbles around him. And it's a damn shame. And he's going to do a lot of years in prison, y'all. Y'all need to stop fighting and stop looking at the truth. And face the fact that he just might not ever get out and stop being angry at these girls because these girls aren't the fault the man is at fault his camp is at fault if you keep talking about the setup this the setup that you want to know who set him up his own camp you want to know who set him up his own self by being a predator that he is and not stopping what he was supposed to stop when he got away with it the first two damn times he got lucky. Three strikes, you're out, my man. And this is his third strike. And he's never coming home. And y'all gotta understand that. He's never coming home. Say goodbye. Keep your prayers. But he's done. He is done. And like I said, this clip you guys are about to watch is from Homeboy Caliber. I like your style. You're very wise. I appreciate you, man. Shout out to you and your channel. Please go and subscribe to his channel. 
Cali Buzz on YouTube. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Make sure you hit that notification bell on your way in or on your way out. And as I said, if you want to leave a comment below, leave your comments below. Drop them down for your girl. And please hit that like button. Like, like, like. Share, share, share. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit that bell. Ding-a-ling-a-ling. -ling. And enjoy the show. Over the last few days, the internet has literally exploded from a docuseries released on Lifetime titled Surviving R. Kelly. He's the puppet master. It was very scary because I knew at that moment I had a secret. Shame on you! Shame on you! Shame on you! Shame on you! Mute R. Kelly! Mute R. Kelly! Tip that she's here. She's not. I love you so much. I've never introduced her to him. I should have never introduced my family. That's not acceptable. No way. No way. seen something that I thought I would never see. Our social media feeds and timelines, our friends, co-workers split down the middle on the right and wrong of sexual assault. The fabric of our humanity is in question. How can anyone defend a predator or justify the actions of heinous acts to minors on the simple premise of blaming the victims? calling the young girls hot in the pants and fast girls and deflecting the blame off the predator and placing blame on the children and their families. So as the black community, we're going to ignore and give it a pass for a couple hit records. As long as you're entertained, you can brainwash, abuse, and break down a black queen. But he got them hits, though. That's your jam. That's all it takes. Just a little shucking and jiving. As disgusting as that docu-series was, not only did we get a chance to see the truth revealed before the eyes of the nation, your buddies, your homegirls, your friends, you got to see them too. See, pay very close attention to those people that was talking reckless on your timeline, that was saying, oh well, that's what y'all get. You fast girls who was dating older guys in high school, who was skipping class to mess with guys that was older than you. That don't make it right. Just because it happened, don't make it right. Just because young girls dated older guys in high school, that don't make that grown ass man right for pulling up to a high school to pick up a little girl. That's not an excuse. Pay attention to your friends this weekend that you saw on your timeline. See, what's in the heart comes out the mouth. Be thankful for the idiots who were revealed to you in this surviving R. Kelly saga. Remember the names of those people who said, well, I'm still gonna listen to R. Kelly anyways. That's my jam. Y'all not gonna stop me from jamming. Who made all these excuses in the world for a predator who peed in the mouth of a 13-year-old girl on tape. Remember your friends and your family members. Those are the ones you don't bring around your children. Those are the ones that you no longer should invite to the family cookout. Those are the ones who when they ask for a hug, you're like, mm-mm, you good. Those are the ones who you don't let your kids sleep over their house. Oh yeah, a lot has been revealed this weekend. People like that are disgusting and a disgrace before the eyes of man and also the eyes of God. There are things that even God hates. A lying tongue. Feet that run towards evil. When you make light of and make fun of the hurt and pain of victims, your feet runs towards evil. You support the evil doings and okay the BS as long as you can go to a concert and watch a child molester hump and grind all over the stage. Your feet runs towards evil because if you condone abuse, you're just as bad as the abuser. That's facts. If you are okay with that, that don't just say a lot about Robert Kelly. That says a lot about you. People like you are the reason why black people don't get no respect. 
why as a people we are often not taken seriously because we can't stand together on nothing. We can't unite about nothing. We can't even come into an agreement that child predators and sexual molestation is wrong. Period. Ain't no catchy song worth an innocent life. And the fact that that needs to be said in 2019 is sad. You think ain't no sexual predators or no abusers got Facebook or Instagram or social media? Oh, they sitting back and they being quiet and they watching how y'all talk and they realize it. So they okay with it, okay? You teach them that if they touch your child, you gonna blame the child. That child must be lying. That woman must be lying. So what that does is that causes more victims to hide and stay silent. It emboldens and empowers more predators to prey on the innocent flesh of God's children. Oh, but only with our eyes shall we behold and see the reward of the wicked. Rewards are about to be passed out. Time is up. You prefer the entertainment of the wicked above the justice of the innocent. And got the nerve to turn around and holler Black Lives Matter. What type of culture is this? Where we make music a priority over human lives. But Black Lives Matter, right? Okay. You played his songs at your weddings, your birthday parties. You made love and have conceived children to this man's music. And the truth of the matter is, you won't accept the testimonies of the women in surviving R. Kelly because you are too weak to survive without R. Kelly. Because you don't stand for nothing. And because of this, we as a people will continue to be bamboozled, hoodwinked, and run astray. Because a wise man once said, those who do not stand for nothing will fall for anything. Join this discussion. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel at YouTube slash CaliBuzz. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Who is Calibur. Be great. Be blessed. Once again, it's your boy Cali. Keeping it 100. Always. Somebody got to do it. I'm not a victim. I am a survivor. I reclaim my power. I am strong. I am diva. I am light. I am power. I am woman. We fight. We stand tall, proud. Have a wonderful evening. Hit that like button, subscribe and share. Peace.